Hey, what's going on fam? This is Jay Cameron inviting you to join us in Ethiopia next March, 2025. And this is gonna be an iconic trip that you don't wanna miss, a trip of a lifetime. We're gonna be visiting Addis Ababa, Gondor, Lalibela. You'll have a chance to taste the amazing Ethiopian food. You'll also uh, have a chance to visit the Rastafarian community. You'll get the history, you'll get the fashion, you have an opportunity to shop. It's going to be a trip and experience of a lifetime. So make sure you sign up to join us in Ethiopia, March 2025. Peace family, my name is Vicki Dillon for African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to give the video a big thumbs up, thumbs up, and share, share, share. That helps to notify other folks that we're here. And how many of you all know, as members of Black Media, we need all of the visibility and notifications to go out as, as much as possible. Sometimes there are attempts to suppress our coverage. And this happening from a number of different places. So when you uh, take the initiative to deliberately share a message, you help us to at least try and overcome some of those things, as well as when you download our app. Yes, downloading our app gives us a level of sovereignty and agency so that we're less restricted on some of these other platforms, beloved. So be sure to download our app today. Share it with your family and friends. I think you're going to love it. Yes, thank you so very much, family. I want you to get ready to watch this clip of the United States Press Secretary, Karine Jean-Pierre. Uh, and just so you know, the context of her comments has to do specifically with the border and illegal immigration. Uh, pay attention to the language that she uses, but I want you to listen to what she says overall in this particular clip. Watch this. Yes, the president has been very clear in making sure that, in saying that we need a legislative solution, but he also said when he's talked about the executive action that he recently took, uh, that in weeks ahead he's going to speak uh, on how we can make our immigration system more fairer uh, and more just, so he will have more to say uh, on that. I, obviously, we don't have any policy announcement, announcement to make at this time, but the president is certainly going to continue uh, to address what we're seeing at the border, uh, the challenges at the border. The president has taken this very seriously. He wants to see action. He wants to see a bipartisan legislation move towards that, but we haven't, uh, we haven't seen that. Um, and so it is... Uh, uh, it is uh, really important that uh, we are with the majority of American people when it comes to trying to make sure things are, are done. On the now, family, did you hear her say that they're trying to make immigration, and in this context, they're talking about illegal immigration, and notice she specifically talks about the border because that's the context of the question, which you don't hear the question here, but her response has to do with illegal immigration. So they're making, they, they're real clear, they try not to lace those two words right next to each other. So they just generally try to say the word immigration or migration, and then they throw later on at the border. Anytime you talk about anything with the border, you talk about people jumping it, which means it's illegal. God, today, talk black to me, somebody. Let me get my gavel. <laughs> Y'all know the Vicky Show is the home of the hand claps and the gavel raps. I'm the OG of the gavel. I brought the gavel to the online space many years ago after having that revelation almost 20 years ago where it was given me, uh, the revelation was given to me almost 20 years ago about the power of our words with the gavel. Now, this is outrageous. Now, the reason I'm saying this outrageous, family, is because in the United States, not only is it unfair to those that actually filed the proper paperwork and went through the proper process in order to become a citizen here and have legal uh, status, but the fact that the United States has open borders lets you know that there is some sort of suspicious agenda that they're trying to encourage. Now, it's not really just that suspicious because I showed you all a long time ago how even recently, the Democrat senator, the lead Democrat senator in, in the Senate, Chuck Schumer, said on camera the quiet part out loud. He specifically said that there are a certain group, uh, a population in the United States, I'm talking about white folks, who's not producing like they used to. That's his words, not mine. And he was saying this is the reason why we need to legalize all of the illegal folks that are here in the country by the millions. And he gave specific numbers in the millions. He said that. But he specifically said that there's a group in the United States who's not producing children like they used to. It's not nobody melanated family. Not only that, Dick Durbin, another high ranking Democrat senator. This is the upper level of Congress. And these are the Democrats. I'm keep emphasizing that because I want you to know this is not just a Republican agenda who's worried about the darkening of America. And how they're going to use these folks. Watch this. 
I don't know if you all know it or not, but the military numbers in terms of registrants are down. And the United States is hell bent on continuing her international wars and spending billions and trillions of dollars that we don't have instead of paying our trillions of dollars in reparations. She is hell bent on exploiting the resources of the darker peoples of the world and keeping confusion and devilment and war and conflict going every which way. Using her hidden hands in some cases and her very public hand in others. Dick Durbin, senator out of Illinois, Democrat senator, said, let the illegals come and we want them to sign up to go to war as soldiers and then we're going to give them legal status. He said that recently on the floor in Congress. They got a lot of plans. They want to keep the colonialist domination. And the only way they're going to do this is they got to have more folks that's willing to be unalived for the hegemonic colonialist agenda of the United States. So to ensure that, you got to have a whole lot of soldiers. That's just a couple of the weird agenda that we have for illegal immigrants in this country. And the press secretary, Kareem Jean-Pierre, who is anti-black in every way, and every time you ask her something specifically that they're doing for black Americans, she has nothing substantive to say, and she's very dismissive. You gotta keep in mind, she was born in France, no disrespect to my, my family in France, my black family in France, but she was born in France, and she's the daughter of Haitian immigrants. And I guess I relocated to New York when she was young. Now, she's been going up through the ranks in the United States um, through major political organizations and stuff. That's how I came to learn of her so many years ago through a, a high profile political organization that she was running. Now, a few years ago, when I was on several other networks that I helped to build over the years, that's how a lot of folks know me from other platforms that I helped to be online media programs that I used to do content for. I uh, did a, 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 a broadcast exposing something that um, a former Obama administrator, Susan Rice said that was totally disrespectful and very threatening. Well, I briefly brought up Kareem Jean-Pierre and do you all know that Kareem Jean-Pierre, the current press secretary to this day, she still has me blocked on uh, at least a couple of her personal platforms. What are they worried about Vicky Dillard for? Why was she worried about a political commentary that I did on the weekend? I did go viral, it had hundreds of thousands of views a few years ago. But I was given the White House that everlasting work, one of the former White House associates, Susan Rice, for making threatening comments in relation to Gail King and Snoop Dogg. I briefly mentioned Kareem Jean-Pierre because Kareem Jean-Pierre went on MSNBC, uh, MSNBC to try to defend Gail King. And I just briefly mentioned her name. So she was so mad at me, she blocked me. I want y'all to think about that. Why do you all think that the press secretary would be worried about Vicki Dillard using a laptop and my cell phone, overcoming a major a, a medical illness, worrying about what I'm saying to the black grassroots? It's because sometimes your enemy knows your power in seed form before you do. Sometimes you're mocking your influence. You're mocking the tools that you have to get your message out when the whole while they worried about your influence growing. I've been prophesying for years now that power is coming from the ground up. It's coming from those of us that are considered to be nobodies. And it's coming from the most unsuspecting places. And it's coming outside the establishment and it's coming outside of the institutions and outside of the systems that they've approved. Don't never, ever, ever mock or despise your days of small beginning family. That's what makes us powerful. I'm from Mississippi, so the old folks used to say, keep on keeping on. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about it below in the comments. Of course, be sure to share this broadcast. And of course, check out my channel at VickiDillard.tv. That's V-I-C-K-I-Dillard.tv. I can't wait to see you again.